Good evening, I'm Carol Morrison. Russ McCaskey has the night off. Right now, a jury is deliberating the fate of convicted killer Zane Atchison. Two News reporter Liz Bryant has followed this case from the beginning, and she's live at the Tulsa County Courthouse as it wraps up. Liz? Good evening, Karen. Right now, jurors are inside this Tulsa County Courthouse. Twelve jurors are deciding the consequences that Zane Atchison faces. They've been inside here now talking about this for three hours, and they have three options. The death penalty, life with parole, and life without parole. As he walks away from his last seven days inside this Tulsa County courtroom, all 26-year-old Zane Atchison can do is wait. Wait to see if he'll live the rest of his life in an Oklahoma prison without parole or die by lethal injection. Atchison showed no emotion when Mary Koskowski took the stand. He put his head down as she described 10 painstaking years of infertility treatments and miscarriages before her firstborn daughter, Kaylin Kasofsky, came into this world, only to be taken out by Atchison 24 years later. Atchison also showed no emotion when his attorney pleaded to jurors give him three life sentences. They believe a lack of relationship with his father and drug addictions to Oxycontin and meth have corrupted him. Atchison's attorneys begged, allow Zane his life. Go back to your morals and values. We don't have to kill Zane to hold him accountable. But it wasn't until the very last person took the stand, Atchison started crying. His own mother told jurors how she loves her son to a fault, how she repeatedly told him the right and wrong ways of life, and yet he kept getting into trouble over and over, and she kept bailing him out. Atchison and his mother cried as she told jurors, I do believe you should hold him accountable. Now, in order to get the death penalty, jurors must agree Atchison will keep committing crimes if he stays alive and that he knowingly hurt one or more per people, or excuse me, more than one person, I should say. Prosecutors said they proved more than enough evidence to meet that criteria. We'll, of course, bring you the latest when this verdict comes down. Live right now in downtown Tulsa, Liz Bryant, 2 News, works for you.